Welcome. In this part 2 of the floating UI series, we will explain how to change the background visibility options for the UI, as well as for the hotspots. As you can see in this example, having the flexibility to customize the look of the floating UI can create some very interesting effects. Let's start by adding a floating UI to the scene. First, name it. Then, go to the Floating UI Properties menu, add an image element, and upload a picture. To add text to the Floating UI, add a text element, paste or write the text into the text text box. We want to have a transparent background for this Floating UI. To achieve this, select Floating UI and disable the Fill and Shadow effect. Expand the stroke menu and enable the default color to get a stroke around the floating UI. Let's change the text settings. Expand the font menu and change the font color and line spacing. We want to have sharp corners on the floating UI and the image. Adjust them with the corner radius setting in the layout menu for floating UI, and also for the image. Next on the list is the hotspot. Add a hotspot to the scene and rename it. Adjust its position with the gizmo. To customize the hotspot, you can use a custom image or even a Lottie animation. To resize it, enable the custom size setting and increase the value. With the fade setting, increase the intensity of the hotspot visibility behind the geometry. When the value is set to 100%, the hotspot will be completely visible through the object. If you decrease this value, the hotspot will fade when behind an object. In the next step, we will create an interaction that opens the floating UI when we click on the hotspot. To do this, open the interact mode. Create a new interaction and rename it. Add an on-click trigger and choose a hotspot from the target drop-down menu. Now, add a visibility action. Visibility action controls the visibility of any objects in the project, including a floating UI. With the control setting, you can control whether it is going to show or hide the object, or set it to toggle in which case the visibility is switched between show or hide based on the current state. In the parent drop-down menu, select a floating UI. In a target drop-down menu, you can choose individual elements of the floating UI and adjust their behavior. To hide or show the whole floating UI, select a parent. Select one the hotspot you've created in the relative to setting, and the floating UI will then appear in relation to that chosen object. Enabling the auto-hide setting makes the floating UI hidden when you click outside its designated area. You can also adjust the delay if needed. Hide the floating UI by default so it won't be visible when opening the project. Open the preview mode and test it. it would be better if it appeared on the other side of the hotspot. To do this, you need to change the position of the floating UI itself. Exit preview mode and open design mode. Then, select the floating UI and change its position in the properties menu. 
Because the position of the floating UI is relative to the hotspot, we need to set its position to the bottom right to display it top left of the hotspot. In the preview mode you can see that the floating UI is now displayed as desired. Next we will create three additional floating UI and hotspots with interactions. To save time with designing them, we will duplicate them and change the text and image. To do this, right-click on the floating UI and choose Duplicate. Rename it to avoid confusion. While the floating UI is selected, choose the image element and upload the new image. Then select the text element and change it in the text box. Now, duplicate the hotspot and rename it. Reposition it with the gizmo. Next, we must create an interaction that will open the floating UI when we click on the hotspot. The easiest way is to duplicate the interaction and adjust the trigger and visibility settings. Duplicate the interaction and rename it. Now change the on-click trigger target. Choose a new floating UI from the drop-down menu in the visibility action. Test the interaction in preview mode. In the next part, we will repeat those steps for another two hotspots with floating UI. The final outcome is a great product display, packed with information and unique visual explanations. And now you can do it all without a single line of code. Thanks for watching.